Hi, good day everyone. This video is about the factor theorem. Again, according to the definition of factor theorem, x minus c is a factor of a polynomial p of x if and only if p sub c is equal to zero. Right, so let's try to answer this given problem for us to understand the concept of factor. Okay, for example, we are asked to divide x minus x squared minus x minus six um, to x plus two. Right, so um, I think let's try to answer this with the use of synthetic division. Okay, if you want to answer this with the use of synthetic division, therefore, we need to extract the roots. So if we have x squared, we have one as its numerical coefficient. We have negative one for negative x and we have negative 6 as our constant. So let's use this bar and let's try to solve its quotient. Now, if we have this x plus 2 as our um, divisor, so let's determine what will be the value of c if we have x plus 2. So again, that x plus 2 stands for x minus c. Therefore, the value of c is equals to negative 2. So I know um, we have this technique, right? So let's um, just um, change, right? So our, our technique here is to change the indicated sign. So if that is plus 2, therefore we will use negative 2, right? So let's try to use um, negative 2 as our divisor. So we have negative 2. And let's solve this with use of synthetic. So first, we need to bring down the first number, right? So we have 1 and multiply it to our divisor, which is negative 2. So it will give us negative 2 times 1, that is equals to negative 2. After that, just add the value. So we have negative 1 plus negative 2, that is equals to negative 3. Okay? And multiply this one again to our divisor. So we have negative 2 times negative 3, it will give us positive 6. And add the value again, so it will give us negative 6 plus 6 that is equal to 0. So again, obviously the value of our remainder for this given problem is um, 0. Therefore, we have this answer as constant. So we have this constant as negative 3. So negative 3 stands for letter C and 1 stands for our first degree or x raised to 1. So the answer for this given problem is obviously x minus 3. Alright, so that is our final answer. Now, so since we want to um, determine, okay, and we want to understand the concept of this so-called factor, again, if the quotient for this given problem is x minus c, if you want to rewrite this given problem, automatically x squared minus x minus 6, which is our original problem, is actually equals to x plus 2, our divisor, times our quotient, which is x minus 3. Therefore, dear students, this set of values will serve as the factor of our original problem. Alright? That is same with the concept of um, division, right? For integers. Now, let's try to use this factor theorem to answer some set of problems. So, what do you mean by factor theorem? What is that p sub 0 means? Okay? So, again, let's say we want to determine whether x plus 3 is a factor of this given polynomial. So I have this x cubed minus 2x squared minus 11x plus 12. Right, so our goal is to determine is x plus 3 a factor or not. Okay, so let's again um, state the rule. If we have p sub c, right, if the value is equal to 0, after evaluating it and simplifying it, if the value is 0, therefore, the given x minus c is a factor, right? That is our concept. Next, if we have this p sub c, for example, after our solution, that is not equal to 0, all right? So that means the given x minus c for that particular problem is not a factor, okay? So that is our concept for this given problem. Now, to answer this, obviously, we need to simply use um, the evaluation, okay? So, evaluate this given problem and let's try to identify the final answer. If that is 0, we have this factor. So, again, since we have x plus 3, 
our first task is to identify what will be the value of c if we have x plus 3. So obviously the value of c if we have x plus 3 is negative 3. Alright, so just change the sign. So let's try to plug in, alright, so let's plug in the value of negative 3 to our given polynomial. So if we have negative 3, it will give us p of x or p sub negative 3 is equals to x cubed minus 2x squared minus 11x plus 12. Let's substitute the value of x as negative 3. So it will give us um, x cubed minus 2 times x squared minus 11 times x plus 12. Alright, so I will change or place all of the values of x as negative 3. So we have negative 3, negative 3, and negative 3. And let's try to simplify this given problem, right? So we have this first value, we have negative 3 cubed, right? So the answer is actually negative 3 times negative 3, which is 9, times negative 3 is negative 27, right? So we have, next we have this negative 3 squared, that is 9, Okay, and 9 times negative 2, that is negative 18. So we have minus 18. Next is negative 11 times negative 3. That is a positive number because we have this both negative number. So that is plus 33. And copy the remaining plus 12. Okay, let's try, try to simplify this set of values. If we have negative 27 minus 18, right? plus 33 plus 12 so obviously the students if you want to use calculator to double check this one so the answer for this given problem is equal to 0 right so negative 27 minus 18 that is negative um, 45 okay and 33 plus 12 is 45 also so negative 45 plus 45 is 0 now since the answer for this given problem, since p sub negative 3 is equal to 0, automatically, dear students, the final answer for this given problem is this. So our conclusion here is, if we have this given statement, our final answer, automatically, x plus 3 is a factor of p of x. Right, so this is our final answer. So what is our proof? Because p sub negative 3 is equal to 0. Alright, so that is the concept of factor theorem. Okay, now let's try to answer another set of problem and let's try to identify if um, is it a factor or not. Alright, so I will move this one and let's try to answer another set of problem. Okay. So next problem, so let's use the same um, statement, okay? Right, so let's um, tell whether, um, let's use x plus 3, okay? Is a factor, so is a factor of, let's try to use this given value, let's say we have p of x is equals to 2x cubed, all right, so plus x squared, minus 2x minus 15 All right so same procedure there students um let's try to identify is x plus 3 okay a factor to this given expression or not okay so we have this first step we need to identify what will be the value of c okay since we have this x plus 3 as our device or um our binomial for this given problem what will be the value of c so obviously the value is negative 3 okay so same procedure, let's plug in the value of negative 3 to our original polynomial. So it will give us p sub negative 3 is equals to 2x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 15. Again, um, let's change the value of x as negative 3. So it will give us 2 times x cubed plus x squared minus 2 times x minus 15. So I will place the values of negative 3 as x and let's simplify this given set of values okay so we have negative 2 times um uh, that is 2 times negative 3 um cube okay so that is negative 27 times 2 it will give us a negative 54 right 
Next is negative 3 squared, that is positive 9, so plus 9. Next is negative 2 times negative 3, it will give us positive 6. Right? And minus 15. Okay? So just simplify this set of values. So um, we, it will give us negative 54. So if you want to add this set of values, so we have 9 plus 6, it will give us 15. So plus 15 minus 15. So obviously that is equal to 0. That means the value for this given problem is negative 54. So P sub negative 3 is equals to negative 54. So the final answer for this given problem, since that is not equal to 0, alright, so since this value is not equal to 0, automatically x plus 3 is not a factor of the given polynomial or p of x. Okay, not a factor of p of x. That is our final answer for this given problem. Alright? So again, that's the entire concept of factor theorem. And then, last one. Okay, so I will allow you to answer this and let's try to double check your answer. Okay, let's say we want to determine, okay, whether, um, let's say x plus 2 is x plus 2 a factor a factor of this polynomial let's say we have x squared minus x minus 6 right so I encourage you to pause this video and let's try to answer this on your own and let's try to double check alright so let's double check your answer Again, same procedure. If we have this given problem, we want to identify um, is x plus 2 a factor of this given polynomial? Therefore, number one, step number one is identify what will be the value of c if we have x plus 2. So obviously, the value of c here is negative 2. And let's plug in the value of negative 2, 2 to our original um, polynomial. So it will give us p sub negative 2. That is equals to x squared minus x minus 6 okay next let's change the values of x as negative 2 so we have negative 2 squared minus negative 2 minus 6 okay so we have negative 2 and let's sim um, simplify this set of values right so let's simplify negative 2 squared that is equals to positive 4 all right next is, next is we have this negative of negative 2 that is positive 2 all right minus 6 and let's simplify therefore it will give us 4 plus 2 that is 6 minus 6 okay so 4 plus 2 is 6 and then we have the 6 minus 6 is our final expression and 6 plus 6, six minus 6 rather that is equal to 0 so obviously p sub negative 2 is equal to 0 therefore the answer for this given problem is we have x plus 2 is a factor of p of x so that is our final answer right so that is the concept again of this topic the factor theorem right so if p sub c is equal to zero therefore that given x minus c is a factor okay so thank you so much everyone and god bless